Hey guys, good afternoon. It's Callie. How's everybody doing today? I mentioned in my last video this weekend, uh, my auction haul, that my friend Ellen uh, is a garage sale aficionado. As much as I love to go to the auction, she loves to do garage selling, which I do too. But she had gifted me, uh, not once, but twice recently, with some amazing candle making equipment. And I was getting things organized last night and getting ready to put them away this morning. And I thought, why not do a video and show you guys what I got? Because now I have to make some candles, right? So I'm super excited. And I think you guys will share my excitement. This is an incredible haul. And I'm so thankful and so grateful to Ellen and to all of my friends who I'm so blessed. So anyway, without further ado, and also there were a lot of old candles and things thrown in here that I had a huge pile of, and once I got through everything, I just, I literally put them aside because, you know, you think, oh, I'll melt them down and stuff like that, but honestly, with everything I have here, it's not going to be necessary, and just for, um, you know, space to store this stuff and everything, I did get rid of some of the old melted down um candles that were in here but there are two this one I could pick up the other one I cannot <laughs> but this one I just put wax in and there were many um booklets on candle making which I have not even glanced at but I just put all the paperwork that I came across together I plan on uh, doing my research here as well as checking out a lot of YouTube videos right um, and this box, again, I think I told you, is just wax. There was a bag in here that contained some beeswax, some sheets of uh, beeswax, which I'm pretty excited about. And you could just roll these around a wick and use them. But I've never actually done that myself, so I'm excited about that. And then there are hunks of wax like this just white paraffin wax there's this big block and then there's another like this is full of just the plain white paraffin and then there were two full boxes of this paraffin wax and then I did save um, in this bag the woman who had made this stuff there's some molds, which I'll show you, but I did save, I didn't throw these wax ones out, because check them out. There are suns, and so all different color suns, which I imagine I could maybe put together and put a wax in between, or kind of soften them up and mold them around or add them to another candle. So there's a whole bag of this stuff. There's suns and sunflowers. And then hearts. Woo! And little, like, angels, cherubs. Things like that. So, and then there just various little, all different colors and stuff. I, I love this sun mold crazy right which I'm sure I could also also use those molds for polymer clay right obviously or resin so this whole box I put all the wax in so that's what I have for wax right now and then the next box and honestly you guys I don't know I've said this before I'm, I'm gonna have to slow down with my acquiring of things she says but I do, I will be able to make room for these. I'm going to store this stuff. Remember that giant suitcase I got? The old steamer trunk kind of suitcase? That's where I'm going to store this stuff. So the other trunk is a big Rubbermaid trunk. And it's this is the lid. So you can see how big it is. It's big. I can't lift it up and show you. I'm not that strong. There were two double, double boiler setups that I'm keeping because the top of the double boilers were each filled with, so there's two of these, right? You guys know what a double boiler is. You put the water here, you put the wax here, you never put wax on a direct flame or you could have a serious fire problem. And obviously you never throw water on a wax fire, right? 
but they have wax in them. This one has orange and this one has white. So I, I'm ready to go here. But so this will be how I'll melt my wax. And then I guess I'll show you the little supplies and then I'll show you all the molds. Again, I spent last night kind of gathering things together and putting them in bags and stuff like that because I'm such a Virgo, right? Uh, this is all different scents. And so this is a bag of scent squares, as well as there were two vials of actual fragrance oil for candle making. And I was very pleasantly surprised. One of them is cinnamon, and the other is like a vanilla. And they both smell amazing. And still, I don't know how old this stuff is, but it looks good to me so these you know obviously you add these scent squares to whatever wax you're melting again you guys total newbie here have no idea i will be learning um but you know these are brand new to me <laughs> and they've just been sitting around waiting for ellen to come and get them and bring them to me so i can't say thank you enough so a whole bag of good smell and then, and then, you got to have color, right? Whole bag of color. So same thing. There's all, every color of the rainbow in here. And you add these little squares. I hope you can see them okay. I'll show you. To your wax. And it will change color. Oh, the magic. And please forgive me if you guys have done all this before. But it's all new to me. So let me just show you a package. So I guess this is orange. But yeah, they're just they almost looks like look like wax themselves. So you know, I don't have to go buy anything at all. I have everything I need and more to make and it even came with, um, which I put, I'm going to put outside, but a big bucket of sand. So you could do like, so you could pour wax in the sand and do those kinds of things. And she even had uh, an egg carton full of half eggs, real eggshells, that were filled with candles and wicks. I did keep a lot of the made candles already, and I put them in my stash. There were too many to show you, really, but... Um, you know, her all who this woman's hard work didn't go to waste, but there were so so many. Okay. Also, there is a bag of these um, translucent crystals, and you add these to the wax to make it more translucent, and it makes the wax harder and more lustrous, according to the back of the package. So a bag of those, a bag of Stearine, which says stearine will make candles burn better and more slowly, makes the wax harder and helps prevent candles from losing their shape in warmer weather. Weather. Uh, it says it will make the wax opaque. So I'm really excited. New project. I told you I'm getting ready for the winter. Um, a whole bag of these little metal wax uh, wick holders. You know, holds the wick at the bottom. And speaking of wick, a whole bag of wicks. So you thread the wick through one of the wick holders, and that is how you get your wick in the bottom of your candle. And then you use these things to lay over the top to hold the wick up. So you would put these over the top of the mold. So they're just little metal rods. And when I do my first project, I will take you guys along and show you. Um, and hopefully it will be wonderful. This is a plastic mold sealer. And it's kind of like a putty. So there's a bag of this stuff too. Um, it looks like, here's one that's open, a putty. You know, like silly putty kind of stuff. And you just take a little bit and you put it around the edges of the mold and it helps 
seal the mold closed before you pour your wax in so you don't have a big mess, which I'm sure we're going to have a big mess anyway, but, um, let's see, uh, more skewers, which, you know, if I don't use them for candles, I could use them for shish kebab, right? A couple of like candy thermometers because you need to know how hot your wax is so there were two of those um, I actually have one of these that I use for cooking <laughs> um, there was a can of candle mold release which you spray in your molds to help your candles come out better again I'm kinda talking out my butt here because I don't know there is this clear acrylic coating gloss. There's a lot of stuff from this company, Walnut Hill. So I guess they're well known amongst candle making people. Um, there were two little funnels. Just for ha-has. Which I can use for other things as well. And then here come the molds, which I'm going to show you. The first ones I'll show you are the acrylic ones. And there are three of these, all in the same sizes. So these tall, rectangular, acrylic molds for candles. Three of those. There are two of these hexagon type. Same thing, fairly large. super cool and you guys know I love candles I do, it probably goes without saying but I think if any of you have seen my cottage tour I have a big drip mountain of candle wax that and I can literally sit and meditate on burning candles um, okay so a couple of round acrylic ones and you guys I haven't like cleaned these up yet or you know but I will before I use them. And then two long, fairly tall, round. I like these a lot too. So I am so looking forward to making magical candles and everyday candles. And you know, everybody's going to know what they're going to be getting for the holidays this year. Uh, okay, and now the metal molds, there is, again, a hectagon. This is a metal one, or tin, or whatever it is. And then there's a smaller round one, which I like a lot. My friend Patty has some old school metal taper molds, like almost looking colonial time. So, Patty, we're going to have to get together and bring your molds. <laughs> and then there's a whole stack of these, and they almost look like uh, little cupcake, you know, papers, but they're metal or tin. And these are just for small, I guess, you know, little floating candles. Um, so, a whole stack of those. And then, because these are the kind that I burn the most of uh, in my everyday use and practice, are votive candles. And these are metal as well. So, a whole big stack of those. I'm so excited, you guys. And that's it for the metal ones. And the rest of the molds are plastic. And these stack, which is pretty cool. And the first one on top is this circular one, you know, and they fit together, obviously, and you use some of that mold putty to fit them together, and they snap, which are really nice, and you pour your wax in there, and you hang one of those metal things around your wick through it, and that's how you do it, the simple version. So there's one of those, and then there's one of these which is kind of a, there you go. So I really like how these just 
snap together. That's great. Super simple. Again, super easy to store. And then the last one of this kind is this, which is like, a, again, a hectagon shape, or will be when you get it done. So there's those. And then there is, I love this, a large pyramid, which is great. I will definitely be using this. And, you know, I tried to, I was like, Ellen, what can I give you for this? You know, she said, I want four candles. So, so far I owe her four candles and a pillow. So I will give it to you, Ellen. Pyramid is super cool. And then we're getting down to the end of it, folks. There, it, there is a taper mold, a long taper mold. And then a couple of these, which are like flowers. Here is the cherub and the heart and the rose mold. You saw, it's easier to show you this way. Again, I know I can use these with polymer clay, make some accents. And this is Sunflower, Sun, and Two Bees. Which, how cool is that? So that is it, you guys. And thank you for sticking around and letting me share my goodies with you. Again, you know, I, can, I cannot recommend, you know, used thrift stores, garage sales, auctions, donations. You know, it's so much fun. And... I am so blessed to have friends who feel the same way, and I am so thankful. So stay tuned, you guys, because I see some candles in our future for sure. I hope you're having a beautiful day, and shine a light. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bless you.